In this problem, we have a circle graph, or it's sometimes called a pie chart or a pie graph, and we need to answer some questions based on interpreting this graph. Uh, it says up here that each student and in a school was asked, what's your favorite color? And this is what they came up with. Kind of surprises me. That many people said red? That's, that's amazing to me. Um, so it looks like, actually, let's just look at this graph um, and see what we can think about it. It looks like of all the colors other than other, um, green was the least popular. And then purple came next, and blue and pink are pretty close. But it looks like blue is maybe a little smaller than pink. Red was the most popular. And if we look at, in terms of the, the pie, red looks like about, I don't know, about a third. If you were to cut that pie in thirds, this would be about a third. You know, a fourth of a circle would look like that much, would have a 90 degree angle. This is wider than a 90 degree angle, so it looks like it's it's more than a fourth. It's definitely not half, because a half of a circle would be a flat line like that, and it's definitely a smaller angle than that. So it looks like about a third there, and less amounts for the other ones. Okay, so we've thought about the circle graph for a minute. Let's see if we can answer the questions. A says, which color was chosen by approximately one third of the students? Ah, well that's easy, we've been talking about it. That's red. That's about one third. And then B says, approximately what percentage of the students chose other or red? Oh, interesting. So we want to take red and other and say, what percent is that? Hmm. Well, you know, it's not, it's definitely not half, right? That would be 50%. This represents 50% right here, uh, a flat line. So it's definitely greater than 50%. A third, which is red, is about 30% or 33%. So it's greater than that because we're adding to it. So it's somewhere between there and 50%. So I'm just going to say 40%. That's somewhere between 30 uh, and 50%. And I think that's going to be a close enough answer for us. All right. Well, that's a little bit of work with interpreting a circle graph.